hurry and scurry of modern life is getting a lot of us down. Or maybe we're just getting soft. For here's a shop, a department of a leading metropolitan store, dedicated to those who just can't take it. It's a sleep and comfort shop, and it's exclusively devoted to people looking for comfort, relaxation, and sleep. This happy couple, for instance, have a real problem because the wife sinks out of sight on a soft mattress and hubby there floats like a cork on any other kind. Well, here's the sleep shop's answer. A mattress with one side soft and the other side hard. And appropriately enough, it's called the Jack Spratt mattress. Here's another victim of the modern age. This chap's a confirmed pillow puncher. Worn to a frazzle by the day's problems, he battles it out with the pillow all night long. He's been fighting his pillow for years, and so far he's lost every round. What he needs is the new cutaway pillow, which curves around the neck and positively will not bunch around the shoulders. One trial with the cutaway type, and he's finished with pillow pummeling forever. The sleep shop offers all these devices for one purpose, to make you more comfortable and relaxed, so it will be easier to sleep. Well, that takes care of sleep. But you've had a bad day. Minor tension building. Then the headache hit. Getting to sleep could be a problem. Neither ordinary headache remedies nor sleep aids alone may be enough. You want Quiet World. It works two ways to help you sleep. Ordinary sleep aids just make you drowsy. Ordinary pain relievers just stop pain. But Quiet World does both. Pain relievers to quiet headache and muscle aches are relaxant to help make you drowsy. Quiet World works two ways to help you sleep. You're watching Sleepcore, media for sleep.
about the clock is really... What's the matter, chum? Didn't you like it? That's so funny. You're one of those slap-happy guys. Sleep like a babe, I suppose. <laughs> sure. Okay, so you're lucky. Okay, so I'm lucky, so what? So you're lucky, that's all. Well, why can't you sleep? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should take a warm shower before you hit the sack, Bunts. Maybe you don't eat right. Could be the detail you're on's too tough. You know, what you need is... <clears throat> Give us a hand, huh, boy? So why don't you try it, huh, Bunce? Oh, forget it, will you? No. I've been wondering what's come over you. It's a sense you don't get any easier to live with. So what? So you don't have to be so touchy. Come on, Bunce, be yourself. All right. So she hasn't written for a couple of weeks. Three weeks. Does that mean anything? Don't worry so much. I'd be a worry wart. Look at me, I never worry. What does it get you worrying all the time? Do I worry? How am I going to get those leave papers signed by Saturday night? I could worry about that. Do, kind of. But not enough to stew all night. Remember that time we were moving in on Saipan? Didn't sleep a wink. Who did? Wasn't anything I could do about it. Sure, there have been times I couldn't sleep. School, night before exam. First time I ever went to the dentist. Why to please, it'll hurt you a little. Nuts. <coughs> Things like that'll keep you awake, maybe. But you... You stay awake night after night. Don't seem to have anything on your mind. If you do, you don't tell a guy about it. You know, I... I don't get it. Well, maybe you'll really get some shut-eye tonight, huh? What do you say? Get some sleep. Night. 
night after night. I can't take it. I'd rather be dead. Probably will die. Nobody. Nobody can last without sleep. Night after night. Night after night after night. Oh, no. You're not going to die. We know how you feel. But in all medical history, nobody's ever died from lack of sleep. Before that can happen, nature will take over and give you the rest and sleep that you need, whether you realize it or not. But you're worried. You've got something on your mind. That's what keeps you lying there, staring at the ceiling. Everybody does that once in a while. Look at Lucky right now. He's still awake. Insomnia? Well, that's only a vague medical term. Let's see what's going on in his mind. Each man's problem is more or less different. But here is one kind. Listen. Damn it to hell, what's the matter with me? I gotta get some sleep. What goes on? I'm all wound up like a top talking to that guy. Ah, uh, fine. Now I can't sleep. Wound up like a top. Yes, that's a good way to put it. And getting wound up, excitement, anticipation, minor indecisions, confusion, anything like that, is a sure way to postpone sleep. You have to unwind before you can rest. Listen to it. How am I going to get those papers put through? Why do I have to get myself in the doghouse with a chief? One of us eating buns. Hell, I can't help him. It's a doc's job. Sure, see the doc. It goes on and on. And the more wound up he gets, the worse it is. That's just tension. He doesn't have to do this. Tension, that's all. But he won't get any real rest when he's all wound up like that. Let's see what he does about it. All right, they can't sleep. So why can't you sleep? Eat too much? Too much coffee? Uh-uh. Work too hard? Who, me? Nah, not fair. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, what the hell? Wonder if I'll have a clean shirt. Borrow one. Once I'll see the doc. Maybe I can... Ah, uh, go to sleep. Forget it. Forget the papers. Forget buns. It's night. It's a problem for the morning. It's night. Get the idea? Here's the whole business in a nutshell. At first, his thoughts had him on a merry-go-round. Then he took control and pinned down the cause. He was doing around about you and about his leave. But once he decided what his troubles were and decided he couldn't do anything about them tonight, that was that. He began to relax and look at him now. Lucky's method won't work for you, will it? Your problem isn't quite that easy. If it were as simple as one, two, three, you wouldn't be lying awake night after night. Maybe you know what's bothering you, and maybe you don't exactly. That happens to lots of people. Sometimes they can't put their finger right on the cause, and sometimes they can, but refuse to admit it even to themselves. You know, we're all a little different. It's interesting to look around just one ward and see just how different we are. The kind of person we were to start with and how we've been brought up. 
They make a difference in the way we react to our problems. Maybe it's a question of marriage, money, or a job. Maybe it's a question of getting along with others. And again, sometimes it's a question of getting along with ourselves or just plain lack of purpose. Maybe it's a combination. It may be purely physical, like a toothache or a recent operation. But whatever it is, there's no cure-all. Every guy's worry is a personal problem. If each one of these men had a stomachache, would you give him the same dose of medicine? No, of course not. They're all different. You'd tell him to see the doctor and get individual attention. That's what you ought to do tomorrow. Tell the doc what's on your mind. But we can give you some help right now. What detail are you on, Bunce? Maintenance squad. Grounds? Cars and machines. Oh, mm-hmm. Responsible work. Now, think back over the jobs you did today. I spent most of the day on my back under a truck. Feeling something like a spring that's wound up too tight? Well, yeah. Kind of tied up in knots at the back of the neck. The back of the neck, elbows, the chest? Yeah. It's funny. I lie there fiddling with that screwdriver, and the first thing I know, I'm trying to figure things out. I get to talking away. Not out loud, you understand. My jaws are working. And here in the ward, you go on doing the same thing. Trying to work things out in your head about the way Lucky was doing a few minutes ago. Yeah. Did you ever wind a watch too tight? You have to wind it. But if you wind it too tight, the spring freezes tight and the watch stops. The right amount of tension keeps the watch, or you, ticking along in good shape. You're too tense all day long, a chow, or just walking from one building to another. You're wound up tight all the time, day and night. You don't think about it during the day because something's always going on. But at night, you keep right on generating energy with no good way to get rid of it. Result, you not only lie awake, but you worry about being awake. Now, see if we can't channel that energy. So even if you're awake, you get some rest. Let's start with your head and relax gradually all the way down. Well, that's easy to say, but how do you do it? Well, get this first. Relaxing's a skill like hitting a target. It takes practice, concentration, and more practice. Go ahead, start getting comfortable right now. Eventually, relaxing becomes automatic, and you can do it without thinking. I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. To begin with, stretch out flat on the bed. Get in a position that suits you best. Ah, that's better. Straighten out. Okay. Lie quietly, but don't force yourself to hold still. If you're at the control panel, imagine you're going to switch off the current to the tight places, one knob at a time, slow and easy. Start by turning off that worried look. Ease into a smile, not a smirk. Loosen the pearls on your forehead. Now around your nose and between your eyes. Your mouth is relaxed, and already there's less tension in your shoulders, less tension in your arms, your fists. Loosen them up, one at a time. Take a good breath. Now yawn. You don't feel like yawning, fake one. Again. Next, relieve that pressure from your neck. Think of it as pulling out a row of stitches, unraveling them, one at a time. 
then your back muscles. Relax them too. Let the pressure off the thigh muscles. Take the knots out of the calf muscles. Relax the right leg. Left leg, then the ankles, one at a time. Your feet, your toes. Remember that sock in the Donald Duck picture? Imagine it dropped, just plop. That's how you should lie there, plopped out, limp. And now, will you sleep? Well, if you can't, the doctor will help you. But at least you'll be in condition to pass the night restfully and comfortably. Watching Sleep Core, Media for Sleep. I got my free camera. And, and we, we got ours. So did I. Me too. How would you feel if you bought an ordinary flatbed and then discovered that for the same price or less, you could have purchased a Craftmatic adjustable bed? I'm not asking you to buy anything. Just check us out and preview Craftmatic beds before you buy. Then, even if you don't buy your adjustable bed from Craftmatic, I'll send you this Polaroid Instant Camera free. Call us toll-free. Get the facts about all our Craftmatic beds, including the Craftmatic 2 adjustable bed that's so inexpensive, it's like buying a quality flatbed and getting the adjustability for free. Call now, and I'll mail you a free Craftmatic bed catalog and this free coupon redeemable for your free Polaroid camera. I think everyone should call Craftmatic for their free camera coupon. Call 1-800-228-6000. That's 1-800-228-6000, toll free. Call 1-800-228-6000. Fred, will you go to bed? It's after midnight. You know how I am before a trip. I can't get to sleep, and I took an aspirin. Aspirin? That's for headaches. You need a sleeping aid. Like what? Like Compose. There's some in my dresser drawer. Headache? Take aspirin. Sleepless night? Take Compose, C-O-M-P-O-Z. Taken as directed at bedtime, Compose helps make you drowsy so you can fall asleep. Compose at drug counters. You're all wound up. You can't sleep. Are you going to trust just any sleep aid? Or is tonight the night you join the millions who've switched to Unisom? Unlike most sleep aids, Unisom contains doxylamine. In medical tests, it helped people fall asleep faster, an average of 23 minutes faster than without Unisom. No wonder Unisom is America's number one sleep aid. Join the millions who've switched to Unisom. Take Unisom tonight and fall asleep faster. Want a free color TV or a free Sony Watchman TV? Then listen carefully. Superior Waterbeds, New Orleans' largest and most trusted waterbed stores, is offering Soma, the revolutionary new design in flotation sleep. Individually adjustable tubes of water to achieve the firmness you desire at as low as $269. Plus, if you buy the Soma now, you'll receive this state-of-the-art color TV or this Sony Watchman TV absolutely free. But hurry, quantities are limited. You'll sleep like a baby ah! on a Superior Waterbed. Do you often stay awake at night counting sheep, unable to fall asleep because of simple nervousness, overwork, or restlessness? Well, now, the next time you can't sleep, you just try some Somidex. The new aid to sleep that, taken as directed, brings 100% safe sleep. Remember, because this is important. A Somidex contains no barbiturates, no bromides, no narcotics, and it's non-habit forming. What's more, Somidex's combination of special ingredients helps calm down jittery nerves, helps you feel more relaxed. So, if you often can sleep, why well, just take some Somidex for more natural-like sleep with 100% safety. Somidex gently lulls you into sound, restful sleep. In the morning, you wake up refreshed, without morning after grogginess. So don't spend another sleepless night counting sheep. Take Somidex as directed for 100% safe sleep. No prescription needed. Money back if not satisfied. 
Get Salmonex at your drugstore now. I'd say that was good advice, wouldn't you? Remember, if you can't sleep, try Salmonex. Baby is an exciting addition to the family. But there are problems, too. He's always asleep. When's he ever going to be any fun? All he ever does is eat and sleep. Yes, eat and sleep. And that's just about all you did, too, when you were a baby. You had to depend on your mother for all the things that you needed. She had to feed you, to bathe you, to put you down to sleep. As you grow older, you learn to do more and more things for yourself. Some of these things you do so often that they become habits. Everybody has habits. Dad likes to read his newspaper every evening in this same chair. It's one of his habits. Habits are things you do naturally without having to think about them. Martha first had to think each step when she tied a bow knot. Now she can do it easily and quickly. Regular habits make daily living much easier since they help us do things without having to think about them. Some of the habits you learn now may stay with you all your life. All right, children. It's time to get ready for bed. I'm almost through with this chapter, Mother. It's time for bed, Susie. You go right to sleep now. Getting ready for bed at a regular time is one of the most important habits you can learn. A quiet hour or two before bedtime is part of this habit. It makes you feel relaxed and sleepy, ready for bed. Washing up is part of the going to bed habit. Any regular routine before bedtime helps you feel sleepy. Hanging up your clothes can be part of this routine. They'll air out overnight and be neat for tomorrow. Wearing the right kind of night clothes is important. David's pajamas fit him loosely and don't bind him around the waist. David likes to open his window, when it isn't too cold, for fresh air. But he's careful not to sleep in a draft. Of course, Martha has her own habits. Instead of opening her window, she gets fresh air by opening her door a bit. Good night, David. Good night, sis. David's bed is comfortable and the mattress isn't too soft. The covers on his bed are warm without being heavy. And so David's ready for bed at just about the usual time. Of course, he sometimes stays up later, but that doesn't happen often enough to change his going to bed habits. Now to sleep. Some people go right to sleep, others take longer. Because David has regular sleeping habits, he usually drops off very quickly. David has probably never stopped to think what a wonderful thing sleep is. In sleep, the muscles of the body are relaxed. It's the most perfect way to relax that we have. Our breathing is slower and deeper when we sleep. The body's temperature is lower. Even the heart beats more slowly. The whole body is resting. To rest all our muscles, we turn in our sleep. Some people turn often, others not so often, but we all do it. It's a normal part of sound, healthy sleep. Dreams are normal too. Often they're suggested by things around us while we sleep.
Things don't seem to make much sense, do they? That's because the brain is resting along with the body, so it's less alert when you sleep. After a good night's sleep, you usually wake up easily and naturally. The alarm hasn't rung yet. David finds that he usually wakes up before it goes off. Of course, it takes him a little while to get fully awake. You're never at your best until at least an hour or two afterwards. That's one reason why getting up early is so important. There's plenty of time for breakfast, too. Breakfast is an important meal that shouldn't be missed. If you usually go to bed early enough, you usually wake up early, too. You can start the day in a pleasant, unhurried way. It's more fun for you that way, and more fun for the rest of the family, too. David and Martha enjoy their morning and that helps them enjoy the whole day. As the day goes on, you get more and more value from your regular sleeping habits. Plenty of sleep helps you to be bright and alert to the very end of the day. But what about bad sleeping habits? George just doesn't get enough sleep. And now, in the afternoon, he's tired. It's hard for him to pay attention in class. When the teacher calls on him, George just can't seem to remember things that he really ought to know. George doesn't realize it, but his main trouble is bad sleeping habits. Last night, for instance... No, no, Muggsy. Don't rub me out. I didn't do it. Honest, I didn't. No rat's gonna squeal on me. You know too much, Limpy. You know I wouldn't sing, Muggsy. We've been pals too long. Slat saw you in the DA's office. Sure, I was there, but, but, but they didn't get nothing out of me. Then why was the coppers around here today? I don't know, Muggsy, I don't know. You squealed, that's why. You put the finger on me. You can't do it, Muggsy, you can't, you can't! Oh, oh. Yes, George has bad sleeping habits. And even when he finally does get into bed, he finds it hard to go to sleep. That's because he hasn't formed the habit of going to sleep at a regular time each night. And it's just as hard for him to wake up in the morning. George! George! Get up, George. He's still tired because he hasn't had enough sleep. Hey, Mom, where are my books? On the mantel, dear. George, close the door. The morning starts badly, and the whole day goes badly when you get too little sleep too often. And even after class is over, you keep on paying the penalty for bad sleeping habits. You don't have much fun when you're tired and low in energy. Lack of sleep makes it hard for you to do your best. You just can't seem to get into the game and have fun, the way the other fellows do. You're irritable and cross, hard to get along with. People don't like you, and you don't like yourself when you're like that. Probably neither David nor George realize how important their sleeping habits are to the way they enjoy their waking hours. Going to bed at a regular time each night makes it easier for you to go right off to sleep instead of lying awake long into the night. You wake up easily and naturally without having to be dragged out of bed. 
And most important, your day starts right and stays right. Both David and Martha have learned that good sleeping habits help you get the most out of everyday living. You are watching Sleep Core, Media for Sleep. Hope you enjoy your stay with us, Mr. Ballone. Thank you. Any luggage? Yes, there's a small item I'll need carried in. Oh, a briefcase? No, a mattress. I'm sorry, what? It's my King Coil Posture Bomb mattress. It's strapped on my car. Uh, sir, the bed in your room has a mattress. Is it a King Coil Posture Bomb? Well, I don't know. Because I only get a comfortable night's sleep on a King Coil. Its Posture Bomb construction means comfort and durability. Oh, sir, guests cannot bring in their own mattresses. Why not? I carry my King Coil everywhere. Well, because it's, uh, dumb. Dumb? And I'm wide awake all night counting the stripes on the wallpaper? We don't have striped wallpaper. Oh, no, I'll never get to sleep now. All right, you can bring in your King, King Coil, Coil Posture, posture bomb. bomb. Thank you. Does the room have a tub? Or shower. A shower. Okay, in my trunk is a big white tub. Would you ask the man to please bring oh, that up crying. to my... <sighs> oh, you brought my mattress. Listen, there's a king coil already on the bed, so you can run this one back down. <sighs> You're welcome. The king coil posture bomb for a good night's sleep anytime, anywhere. See it today at a fine furniture store or sleep shop near you. Folks, I'm here to tell you Superior Waterbeds is having an incredible sale every May. Don't every... listen to them. We're not having a sale. I can't take uh. another sale. Uh. I'm loading all those trucks, writing those orders. I need a rest. I need a... a sale. If you've ever dreamed of owning a waterbed, now's the time. Our prices are low enough as it is. I can't take them. Another sale at all Superior locations. And remember, you'll sleep like a baby on a Superior waterbed. When you take new Unisom Sleep Aid, the countdown begins. You'll be falling asleep fast. Unisom has been proven effective in clinical tests. In the test, Unisom with doxylamine helped people feel drowsy, so they fell asleep faster. An average of 23 minutes faster than they did without Unisom and slept better at night. For occasional sleeplessness, take Unisom. Fall asleep faster. Mattress Mart's Boxing Week price splits brings you massive price cuts on mattresses, mattress sets, and pure brass beds and headboards. Canada's top brands, twin, double, queen, and king size. Hundreds of sets are below half price this week. Get fast free delivery with extra service and satisfaction guaranteed at Mattress Mart. Carling Avenue at Richmond Road, Salaraw Boulevard across from the Salaraw Center, and 80 Colonnade Road off Merivale or Highway 16. Howdy folks, I'm Ed at The Bed Incorporated. Every gunslinger in town knows The Bed has the best selection, the lowest prices, and the most experience. Well, circle the wagon, Sidewinders, because now we've got the best little $299 water bed in town. This king-size bed features a solid wood frame, double-tiered bookcase headboard with etch mirror, heater with thermostatic control, reading light, and much more. Everything but the water for just $299. Why go anywhere else? We're aiming to please at The Bed. Dial a mattress. For over 10 years, the easiest way to buy a brand new mattress without leaving home. Just pick up the phone and dial 1-800-M-A-T-T-R-E-S. You'll get the lowest prices on Sealy Posturepedic, Serta Perfect Sleeper, and Simmons Beautyrest. You'll get express two-hour delivery. That's right, two-hour delivery, and you only pay our driver upon your approval. Dial 1-800-M-A-T-T-R-E-S and leave off the last S for savings. Yeah, Steven Folk for this show. Everybody knows it's the Sealy Posturepedic Morning. Posturepedic, designed in cooperation with leading orthopedic surgeons for no morning backache from sleeping on a too soft mattress and for feeling so good it shows. Yeah! You'll find quality Sealy bedding on sale now during Heck's exciting Sealy Mattress Sale. You won't find them in a Sealy. You won't find them in a Serta. You won't find them in a Stearns & Foster. But you will find them in a Beautyrest by Simmons. Hundreds of these exclusive Beautyrest coils. They're wrapped individually so they're free to move separately to give every part of your body the kind of firm, comfortable support you won't find anywhere but here. There's just no rest like a Beautyrest by Simmons. 
look at this sweet deal from Country Boy Water Pants. A magnificent dresser, mirror, and nightstand from Burlington. Plus, your choice of a four-poster bed or two different bookcase beds. All four pieces, yours for only $9.99.95. Other beds priced from $18 a month. And there's... No down payment. At Country Boy Water Pants, we just want to say, if you ain't sleeping on water... It's 